Athletes, welcome back to another great day of fitness. We've got line hops, we've got sit-ups, and we've even got some wall walks for you. We've got TJ, I got Alyssa. We are ready to get some fitness in with you. <gasps> Athletes, the warm-up is starting in 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and find that line that we are starting with line hops, and we are gonna start slow right now. We're gonna do some step overs in three, two, one, and let's get started with just step overs this line. What I want you guys to do is, is that we're waking up our body awareness. I want you to make sure that you are clearly getting over that line. We've got TJ doing line hops today, and we've got Alyssa doing modified line hops. So what we're gonna do with this is that I'm gonna have TJ start to do a few line hops here. He can go no rebound, he can go into rebound. With Alyssa, what we're gonna do is, is that we are gonna have her stop on one side of the line. I'm gonna have her jump with no rebound. She's gonna jump back with no rebound. Now, I'm gonna have her give me some reps that have rebound to it. This is the prescribed line hop version, and if you wanna mix it in, you can. So go ahead, and we're gonna go back and forth just like that. We're gonna relax. And now we're gonna go into our active step overs. So I'm gonna get Alyssa to stay in this active position. We are gonna step over and then back over. We can make these pretty quick when we go through this or we can go as slow as we want. So you pick your intensity there. Go ahead and relax. The next thing that we have is that we are going to go into our wall walks. Now for our wall walk warm up, we're gonna go into inchworms. So I know that TJ is eager to get on the wall. I'm gonna have at both athletes go down into a push up position for me. On the push-up position, what I want them to do is, is that they're gonna go all the way down to the floor for me, Alyssa. I want you guys to push up and then walk your way back, standing tall, and I want you to reach for the sky, back down to the floor, walk your way down. And we're gonna go through two more reps of this. So I want two more inchworms from both athletes. So as you guys are going through this, we are modifying our wall walk variation to our inchworm. And we're gonna get into our shoulder taps in just a moment, which are going to be very difficult on the wall walks if you've never done these. TJ's a pro, so he's gonna give us perfect reps every time. But what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna have Alyssa go into her inchworm, and I want her to walk her way up without standing up. In this position, she's gonna to start to shift her body weight side to side so she can touch the opposite shoulder or the same shoulder. So with this, if you guys wanna come up, and you want to try to touch that shoulder on the same side, you can. For TJ, he's going to go ahead and show us the reps that he's going to do here. He's going to walk his way back to the wall. And then when he gets to about 10 inches away from the wall, he's going to shift and he's going to touch that shoulder and then shift to the other side. This takes a lot of core control with this. So if you guys are doing this movement, go ahead and relax, TJ. Save those reps for the workout. When you guys are doing your wall walks, I'm going to have TJ get back down to the floor and we're gonna do a plank on the wall for TJ. So if you guys are doing your wall walks, go ahead and put those feet up on the wall about halfway. We're gonna hold there for five seconds, and then we're gonna come back down, and I want you guys to give us three reps of those. We're gonna go ahead and move on into our sit-up, so I'm gonna have TJ move over to his ab mat after he's done, and I'm gonna have Alyssa go down to her ab mat. We've got TJ on full ab mat sit-ups here, so he's gonna go ahead and go through these reps. With Alyssa, what we're gonna do is, is that with our quarter sit-ups, She's gonna pick a place on her body. So we talked about using knees here. She's gonna sit up, slide those hands to her knees, and then back down. The thing that I want you to be careful with is, is that if you do the chicken neck on this, where you're pushing your head back and forth, your neck flexors will get very sore tomorrow. So what we're thinking about doing is keeping our head in a neutral position and allowing our shoulders to come up and that head stays neutral the entire time so we're not flexing on your neck. We're gonna go ahead and have both athletes relax. We're gonna go ahead and stand up. We're gonna go back to our line. And on our line, we're gonna go full speed that we're gonna use in the workout right now. So TJ's gonna pick it up to line hops. I'm gonna have Alyssa pick the variation that she wants for her modified version here. With this, if you guys are going against somebody who's doing regular line hops versus somebody who's doing modified, the modified version will be a little bit slower. So I want you guys to make sure you're keeping it fair on this. If you beat them doing the faster version, I'm not gonna allow TJ to talk smack today, even though he wants to. Go ahead and relax. And that is it for our warm up. The workout is coming up next. So go ahead, turn your cell phone on silent, grab your water, get yourself ready, because the workout is up next. Athletes, the workout is here. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. Go ahead and make your way to your lines. We got 60 line hops, and then we've got Alyssa with 30 modified line hops. In two, one, go. Now for today's workout, we do have an EMOM. We've got three different movements, three different minutes, and then we have a minute of rest. 
As you're going through this, I want you to keep an eye on the clock and try to stay consistent with when you're finishing your reps here. Our modified line hops are a little bit slower than our regular line hops, so we do have half the reps here. We've got 60 for TJ, 30 for Alyssa, and I don't want to say that they're competitive, but you're going to see a race today. We just finished up here. Both athletes finished around the 25 second mark, so that's going to be their goal. I don't want you guys going so fast on any one movement during this workout that you're not going to be able to replicate that in later rounds. And as always, our last round is where we're going to push it and try to beat all of our times or all of our reps that we've got. Next up, we're going to have inchworms into our wall walks or we're going to be going into our shoulder taps from our inchworms. You guys are going to have 12 reps on each side with the shoulder taps for 24 total. We're going to start in three, two, one, and go. Now, as we go through here, we've got Alyssa going through her super fast inchworm shoulder tap. And then we got TJ going a little bit slower here. But TJ's a regular. We want to encourage him. He's doing a great job. Whatever speed you guys are going through on this workout, stay consistent with it. So Alyssa's going to give us that same speed. And I will say that there is a little bit of more competitiveness between these two because they are recently married. So throw your congratulations in the comments. We're very happy for them. They are very happy to be here today. There's definitely no joking back and forth. It's all serious. So after you guys finish those shoulder taps, we get to rest the remainder of the minute. And then next we are going into our sit-ups. Now with our sit-ups, this is where you are gonna score by reps. So you are gonna work for the majority of the minute. You can take a rest in there anywhere that you need to, but I want you guys trying to work consistently throughout. We're going in five, three, two, one, and go. We've got Alyssa going through her quarter sit-ups. Now we practice touching knees, not mid-thigh in the warm-up. So we're going all the way, there we go. That's perfect. I want all the way up to knees. We got TJ going through his regular sit-ups. Now with the regular sit-ups that we have, you're gonna touch the ground behind your head and then sit up, touching your toes. And shoulders have to get beyond your hip crease. So when we go through this, don't try to cheat the standard and move your feet closer to your body so that you can reach your toes sooner. Shoulders have to come up in front of that hip crease. And please make sure we are counting reps here. When we go through this, since it's max reps, I want you to try to match that number of reps every single time. Don't listen to the rep counts here. This is between, this is our version of marriage counseling. So it's a sit up showdown. Oh, let's go. Come on, you got it. We got eight seconds left. And five, three, two, one, and rest. Now, we've got our minute of rest here, and as always, I'm gonna have you guys move around. So, do whatever you need to to get prepared for your next round. You can hop into a seal pose like Alyssa's got. You can go into straightening up your ab mat like TJ is, so that he can prepare for more dominance in round number two. You know if you let him beat you, you're only gonna hear about this for the rest of the day. So, we've got 38 seconds left on the clock. Again, when we're going through our rest times, be smart about this, utilize this in a way that's gonna prepare you for that next round. If you just sit down on the floor and you don't move, there's a chance you can start to tighten up a little bit. I wanna keep that heart rate slightly elevated, but we're taking nice deep breaths, relaxing ourselves, getting ourselves prepped mentally and physically for that round that's coming up. We've got 10 seconds on the clock and we're going back into line hops. Now, remember your number that you finished on or your time you finished on the first round. We're gonna match it here in two, one, go. Again, we've got TJ on our line hops and then we've got Alyssa on our modified line hops. I'm gonna have Alyssa on our next round to go into our step over variation for this so that you guys can see what that one is. If you were doing that at home, you got somebody to follow along with there. 60 total reps for TJ, 30 total reps for Alyssa. After we get done with this one, we are going back into our shoulder taps from that wall walk or the inchworm. So both athletes finish right around the same time as the last one, so that tells me that their intensity is spot on. During a workout that you are working with your own intensity, it takes a few times to kind of figure out how hard you can push and maintain that. So if you've overpaced yourself in that first round and you went slower here, let's use this second round as the measure for our following rounds of what we're gonna to try to match. We're going into our shoulder taps in eight seconds. And five, three, two, one, and go. Now with our shoulder taps, both of our athletes do have a gymnastics background, so they're making these look relatively easy. 
If you guys are struggling with doing either variation of this, we can go up to a push-up position and stay there and we can do our shoulder tap. We'll demo that in the next round here, but only work within the place that you can keep yourself safe and I wanna have confidence with that movement. If we're getting into a movement that we feel like we're unstable or we're not sure if we're gonna be able to perform that next rep, let's modify that and we can always come back in a future workout to a harder variation or better yet, outside of the workout, work on these shoulder taps as a skill rather than under the intensity of a workout. So if you find that shoulder taps or inchworms are something that's difficult for you, don't do it under the pressure of the clock. Spend some time after the workout or when your shoulders are fresh and let's work on getting better at that. We got seven seconds left on the clock and we are going in three, two, one, go. Now again, just so that you remember, I'm watching TJ's shoulders to make sure they're getting in front of those hips. When we go through this, we are keeping track of reps on the number of sit-ups that we do. So you can't hear it, but I can hear it here. Both athletes are exhaling as they sit up. And a good rule of thumb, anytime that you're working out, on the hard portion of the movement, I want you to exhale and then take a nice deep breath in before you go back into that movement so you can stabilize your core. TJ is utilizing a strong arm throw. Now if I want to challenge him a little bit, I can take those hands and put them across his chest or by his ears. And we eliminate, you see that face, we get the Popeye, like the squinty eye, like as he comes up, we know that that's a little bit more difficult for him. Eliminating the arm momentum is gonna make this movement more difficult for you. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. Keep going, give me all the reps that you have. This minute's not, the, the minute rest after this is so you can work all the way through this minute. All the way through and rest. This is our second rest period. So now you guys should have a really good idea of what this combination of movements feels like. The sit-ups that we're doing are starting to affect our core as we get into our inchworms and our wall walks. And then as we go into those line hops, that's something just to jack your heart rate up before we get into our other movements. So on this round, specifically for Alyssa, I'm gonna have her do our active step overs, which is staying in the active position, like we're about to have somebody tackle us and we're trying to get in the, the most secure stance that we can. And then when we get into our, after our, our line hops, and she gets into her inchworms, I'm gonna have her stay in the top of the push-up position and we're gonna go with our shoulder taps from that. Now, we got 15 seconds left on the clock and you are starting in 10 seconds. And seven, five, three, two, one, go! And Alyssa almost started with jumps, but she remembered what she was doing. She's keeping her arms out for balance. If you keep your arms in closer to your body, you can do whatever you want to so that you feel confident in this movement that we're doing. Notice that Alyssa is shifting her entire body weight across that line versus keeping herself still and pulling at Kevin. And if you don't know Kevin, you gotta go back and watch her other videos. But we are not just keeping that body centered over the line. I need everything over the line before we shift over to the other side. Both athletes finished in the same amount of time as previous rounds. Alyssa even doing her step overs finished in the same amount of time we were doing those modified line hops. So if you guys wanna alternate back and forth between those, you most definitely can. Again, those line hops are in there as an inconvenience. We're trying to get your heart rate up so that when we go into this gymnastics piece, it's a little bit more difficult than if you were fresh. You got 10 seconds and then we are going into our inchworms or our wall walks to our shoulder taps. We've got three, two, one, and go. I've got Alyssa into her plank position here. I'm gonna have her get her hips a little bit lower for me. There we go. We wanna activate that core and make sure we're getting a similar stimulus that we have to our wall walks here. Now, when we go through this movement, you see Alyssa switching over to alternating shoulder taps, which is fine. If you guys wanna shift and do same side shoulder tap, you're welcome to. It's really dependent on your mobility there and which one that you would like to do, so I'll let you pick either for the remaining rounds that we've got. Both athletes are showing consistency today, just like you guys are at home. Again, we're trying to stay consistent with our time on our first two movements, and then our last movement, which is the sit-ups, we have to get those reps the same level every single time. We got 15 seconds before we go into sit-ups, and prepare yourself, because after this round, we're into our final round, and I'm gonna push you. I'm gonna see you doing the fastest line hops, the fastest shoulder taps, and most sit-ups you can. We're going on sit-ups now, so go ahead and start giving me reps here. We've got Alyssa working on her 
quarter sit-ups, and then we've got TJ going into his full sit-ups again. I'm gonna be a stickler about it and make sure those shoulders are getting past our hip crease. TJ is a fantastic athlete, but we all know that when we start to add intensity to a movement, it's easy to start towing the line on what is a good rep and what is a bad rep. If we are the only people that are with you right now, we're watching, and not in a weird way, but in an encouraging way, because we wanna make sure that you guys showed up and you're doing all the work so that you get all the benefit from the workout that we got for you today. Athletes have 23 seconds left. Alyssa's taking a quick break and she gets right back into it. These sit-ups add up. So you think that doing a minute of sit-ups is gonna be something that's not gonna be that bad. With everything else we have paired with this, you're gonna start to feel that in your core. We got eight seconds left. Get those final reps in. We've got five and three, two, one, rest. Now this is it. We are going into our final round after this. We got three movements, we got four minutes, because you get that last minute of rest, but that's gonna be extended, because after this, you guys are done for the day. We're going through, and I want you to try and go as fast as you possibly can, but still giving me the same great form that you've done all the way through this workout. Athletes have 38 seconds, so get your mind right, take some nice deep recovery breaths on this. I want you to just get yourself prepared, because we are gonna push the pace here. I want you to be fastest rounds of line hops, your fastest wall walks or inchworms with those shoulder taps, and then I wanna see the most sit-ups compared to any other round that we've done up to this point. You guys have 15 seconds, and then we're getting it on. You've got 10 seconds. Athletes, take your lines. Line hops are coming up. We are going in five, and three, two, one, go! So with these line hops, we've increased the intensity. If you guys land on that line, that is a no rep, so make sure that you judge yourself correctly. We're going through getting 60 reps for TJ, 30 reps for Alyssa. Make sure that you are breathing here. When you're so focused on something on the floor like a line, it's very easy to hold your breath. And TJ's done. He finished that about five to six seconds faster than he normally does. And Alyssa finished a few seconds before she did with her faster rounds as well. So great job from both athletes here. We like the intensity that we're seeing from you at home. We're moving into our shoulder taps now. So those shoulder taps, if you've been doing inchworms, shake those, those arms out, get yourself ready. If you guys are going into your inchworms, the same thing. We are going in 15 seconds. And we've got 10 seconds. You got 12 shoulder taps on each side for a total of 24. We are going in five and three, two, one, go. Our athletes are flying here. Now our core is toasted, so it makes it more difficult to stabilize ourselves in this push or this handstand push up position or in our inchworm. Alyssa's got to go back out of the inchworm for it to count. Go back down and you got to walk out of it. And she's done with that. That's perfect. That is it for inchworms, that is it for wall walks, that is it for shoulder taps. Now, approach the ab mat. You guys are gonna have 34 seconds on the clock. We gotta figure out our strategy here. I want you guys pushing all the way through this minute. Take as few rests as possible. You feel like you're about to cramp, not as loud. I want you to hang off, stop for just a second, regroup. Maybe roll over into a quick seal pose so you can get your core opened up and get right back into those reps. This is the last movement that we have. This is the last minute of work that we have. So I want you to give us everything you've got. You've got eight seconds on the clock. And five, three, two, one, and go. This is it. Every single ounce of fitness that you have, you are condensing into this last minute to get every single sit up that we possibly can out of this time. You guys have 50 seconds left. I'm gonna give you those 10 second increments so that you know where you're at and I need you to keep moving, keep breathing on this. If you're using the arm throw on the ab mat sit-ups, utilize that momentum going through. Make sure that we're keeping our head in that neutral position. We've got 33 seconds left. We've got 30 seconds left. You were halfway through this. Keep this intensity up, keep pushing. Give me everything you got. I want all the reps that you have left. When you get done with this workout, I want no reps in the fitness bank. You've spent them all on this workout. So push, push, push. We've got 15 seconds left. Keep moving, keep pushing. We've got 10 seconds left. You guys are almost there. Keep moving. I know you want to rest. Give me the last few sit-ups you have. We got five and three, two, one, time. And that is it. TJ, great job. 
Alyssa, great job. Congratulations again to the newly married couple. They did great. This is their first official workout together. So they did wonderful here. We know you guys did a great job at home. You should be done because this is an EMOM, so we all finished at the same time. Make sure that you stick around because your cool down is coming up next. Athletes, once again, great job on the effort and the fitness that you brought today. We loved working out with you just like we do every day. Now, if this is your first day with us or maybe your second day and you're still not signed up for Mayhem Athlete, we want you to join us. We've got a free seven day free trial that free, 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 I'll say free a few more times because I really want to emphasize the point that we got a seven day free trial that you can join Mayhem Athlete and get tons of workouts like this and tons of workouts that are unlike this. Whether your goals are functional fitness, bodybuilding, CrossFit, workouts on the road, at home, wherever you can move your body, we've got a track or we've got workouts that will fit your lifestyle. Whether you wanna be a better version of yourself every day and get a little bit fitter, or you wanna to try to make it all the way to the competition floor, we've got workouts, we've got athletes that will support you and guide you to achieve your goals. Now, I always get super, super serious here because I've got the cool down somewhere here. I want you guys to make sure that you stick around, do that cool down because it's great for you just like your vegetables. So have your Brussels sprout fitness and do this cool down because your body just took care of you, so take care of your body. And finally, the most important part, always remember, be good, be kind, and join us again for another great day of fitness.